What's up peeps and welcome back to the Lionel Beast Show. It's your first time tuning into the channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on the videos, man. Also make sure y'all click that notification bell button so anytime I drop a brand new video, y'all be the first ones to get it. Definitely the custody battle for Imani, man. It's gonna be a lot easier for Nipsey Hussle's family. But the lawyers think that winning the battle for a 10 year old Imani by highlighting Tanisha Foster's track record with her own 18 year old daughter. Now the crazy thing is man, basically Tanisha has a whole other kid that is currently 18 man and she's currently in juvenile detention in LA. And the sad thing about it man, she's been in and out of the system ever since she was only 12 years old. Now other sources are indicating that man, she's in juvie for petty theft and nobody will come forward to pick up the kid, including Tanisha. And yes, 18 years of age does consider you adult. However, detention center is not wanting to release her at all because she doesn't even have a GED or a stable environment to which she can actually come back to. Now, sources are also indicating, man, that Tanisha has been missing for most of her daughter's life and has refused to even attend her court hearings. So basically, she's just letting the kid fend for herself. Also, Tanisha has another kid that a lot of people didn't know about, man. She has a 17-year-old son who goes around from different people's houses and doesn't attend school at all, man. He's skipping in and out of school. So basically, it looks like the Hustle family is definitely shining a real bright light on Tanisha Foster. Now, recently the other day, man, she did take to her Instagram, man, and she's very upset, man. She posted a meme with Craig on there from Friday saying she only F with herself because nobody else F with her. I mean, dang, Tanisha, you don't even F with your own kids, so why would anybody want to F with you? Now, Nipsey Hussle's family, man, are basically indicating, man, that they feel like she is definitely not a fit parent and she's not qualified to care for Imani. Now, apparently, man, Tanisha has a super long rap sheet, man. She's got everything from DUIs to misdemeanors to felonies, man. It's a whole lot of things on top of that. You don't even take care of the kids that you actually have. So why would you bring Imani to that environment? And also they're saying it's not a stable environment at all. Tanisha is still living that party life. She still likes to sip lean. She still like to drink all the time. You know, that's definitely not a stable environment for a 10 year old girl to be in, man. That's definitely not a good situation. Now currently Imani is still currently living with Samantha Smith and she's basically gonna be keeping custody until the court hearing. And Tanisha was definitely upset. So it's kind of crazy, man. It's like, okay, she already has other children. So how would she treat Imani any differently, y'all? I feel like it's definitely about the money, for sure. Now, Tanisha does have uh, quite a few substance abuse problems. And also, man, Nipsey Hussle's family was trying to actually help Tanisha enroll in a substance abuse program, but Tanisha is not going down for it, you know what I'm saying? So they're also saying like, look, if you turn things around, you know, of course we would have no problem with releasing her to you or at least letting her spend more time with you. But Tanisha is not even willing to take those steps because they even offered to help her get in there. Now, the family was actually trying to arrange visitation between Imani and Tanisha, but she's still out here young and thugging, man. Like, come on, you got to change your life around and make them children a priority. At what point are you going to make the kids a priority in your life instead of the substance that you love so much? Now, I can see, you know, most people be like, oh, Imani needs to be with her mother. No, that is not the right place because the other kids that were there, look what happened to them. You know, one of them don't go to school. One of them don't even stay at the house. And the other one's been in and out of a juvenile detention center since she was 12 years old. And Tanisha's still not there for her. Even through all of that, six years later, still not there for her. So y'all think about it, man. Why is the little girl out here taking stuff anyway? You know what I'm saying? Is she trying to fit in? Is she angry? You know, there's got to be a lot of things that's going on in that girl's mind. And Tanisha, she seems like a very selfish person that she's not even trying to figure out what's going on with the kid. You're just going to push her off into the system. And here it is, man. It's time for her to be, you know, released from there. But nobody wants to come. Nobody in her family, nobody wants to come and pick up this kid, man. Fausta. Now, when Nipsey Hussle passed, man, he actually passed without a will. And his two children, Imani and Cross, man, they'll basically share equally in the $2 million estate. Now, Tanisha Foster, man, she basically came forth and told the judge when Imani gets her $1 million, she can use some of it for living expenses and provide a stable, safe environment for her child. But Nipsey's family is like, nah, that's not gonna happen. 
that is not going to happen because, you know what I'm saying, with somebody, when they have those kind of issues, there's no telling what's going to happen with the money. And guaranteed, the money's going to be blown really fast, and the daughter is not going to benefit from any of that. She needs a college fund, you know, she needs something that's her own, man, something that she can rely on. And if you can't rely on your own parent to help you manage what's supposed to be your future, because your parent can't manage their own future, there's something definitely wrong there. So I definitely think Imani is in the right place. Tanisha, you know, just exactly like she always does, man. She basically, you know, goes for the clout route, you know what I'm talking about? But she actually posted a picture up on Father's Day in honor of Nipsey Hussle. She actually posted it to her IG story, man. It says, I wish I can call you and tell you this like I did every year. I wish heaven had a phone. Happy Father's Day, NH, Nipsey Hussle. So, I mean, that's definitely cool, man. She's giving a tribute to her, her slain baby father. But um, you have to let everybody know that you did this every year. So you're kind of trying to validate yourself. You could just say, you know, happy Father's Day to a special person in my life, blah, blah, blah. But you want to say it like I did every year. Like, who is that for? Is that for you or is that for the fans that's basically feeling like you're an unfit person? I mean, y'all be the judge. I would love to hear y'all opinion on that right there, man. But I mean, of course, you know, she got to mourn her baby father. You know what I'm saying? He was a great man, but it looks like she has a lot of issues, man. She definitely has a lot of issues, man. And then I don't think the judge at all will allow her to retain custody of Imani. And Nipsey Hussle's sister, uh, Samantha Smith, man, she looks like she's definitely holding it down. She also actually gave a shout out to Nipsey Hussle on her Instagram page as well, man. Definitely a heartfelt she actually had for her brother, man, saying how much she's missing him and she's basically trying to heal. In terms of Tanisha, man, she's definitely not getting the memo. I mean, as you can see, um, some of the screenshots that I actually posted up from her Instagram, man, if y'all did not see it, Make sure y'all go back and look at it, man. But there's people actually in her comments saying, yo, delete, delete, delete. Yo, you need to delete these damn pictures, man, because you already getting jacked up. People are showing off your real life right now. So if you got half a chance to get your kids back and you're trying to show that you're not an alcoholic or uh, on substance abuse, man, you're doing it the wrong way because you got all kind of incriminating photos up on your damn IG. Now, this definitely is not a smear campaign uh, against Tanisha whatsoever, man. It's basically just an eye opener, man. Like, you know, you just got to do better. And me being a parent, man, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I had to choose between uh, substances and things like that in my children, guaranteed, man, I'm going to choose them babies, man. So hopefully she gets the help that she needs, man. And hopefully she can, you know, make amends with her older daughter and her older son, man. And basically show them a role model that they actually need in their lives, man. They're 17, they're 18 years old. They, you know what I'm saying? Her oldest daughter already, you know, came off with, you know, she, she had a lot of things against her, man. She's already got a record, stuff like that. But that does not mean she can't turn things around and be a better person, man, and be, you know what I'm saying, an asset to society. But you know what I'm saying, sometimes you are your environment. Sometimes it'll make you a better person, sometimes it'll make you a worse off person. But it's, it is gonna make you something at the end of the day. So, hoping, man, that she gets the definite help that she needs. Now also, man, there's been information brought about, man, that Black Sam recently spotted out, man, he's definitely not looking good. Homie looks like he's actually going through a lot of stuff. Now, I know, of course, with the passing of his brother, man, that definitely had to be a very traumatic experience. And also going through with the legal battles with his knees and also trying to retain the rights of the marathon continues from the Crips. I'm pretty sure, man, that's got him feeling some type of way. So we definitely hoping, man, that Black Sam pulls through, man. He's able to heal from everything, man. Not only was Nipsey Hussle his brother, that was also his business partner. And it looks like it was his best friend as well, man. They really vibe. And they really made a major difference, man, in the world. Probably bigger than they could ever imagine. So the hearing is going to be scheduled for July, man, between Nipsey Hussle's family and his baby mother to actually determine who's going to get custody and also who's going to get the assets uh, from Nipsey Hussle passing. So you already know Lionel B Show definitely going to keep y'all updated, man. Make sure y'all go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this, man. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on the videos. Share the videos. And I'm going to peep y'all on the next one. Holla.